very difficult, but it really helped me kind of get into the to the mindset of these. It really helped build the character, really, because of the physical and mental discipline that goes into being a dancer. And also, I started noticing halfway through, I started holding my body differently. I was, I was, my muscles were changing. So the more my physicality started to change, the more I started to kind of understand who Dominica was going to be. see why it shouldn't. It certainly empowered me in this movie. I had been, I didn't even really realize until this movie how ruled by insecurities and fear of being judged and that, that I was under for so much of my life until I did this movie and I felt free of them. I love my body and I love my art and, and I'm, I'm so happy with this movie and I'm happy that I did it. So I, I certainly don't see why, why it shouldn't be. Every way that she gets ahead and every way that she's a hero, even though I kind of find her an anti-hero, she's using tools as a woman. Intu intuition, nurturing, sensuality. I also think what's, what's fun about the movie for me is that, you know, we turn the idea on, on its head that I think people going into this movie think it is going to be all about seduction when it ends up actually being about the use of intelligence. Instead, they cut his throat. There could be no witnesses. No, I mean, I, I had a, I, I had a really good time um, filming, filming Red Sparrow. I think it's actually the first movie I haven't been injured on. Emotional scars or hardening for myself have probably just had to come from public scrutiny. <laughs> It was pretty fun, actually. The set was pretty fun. I have to say, some of the stuff that feels the darkest to audiences um, can sometimes, quite honestly, feel quite silly when you're shooting it on set. You know, when you've got Joel in his underwear tied to a chair, and you've got rubber knives and you know a silly little, little tool. You have a gift. You know how to survive. <laughs> sense of empowerment, honestly. I mean, I'm always attracted to survival stories, and so, you know, she's pulled, uh, she plays a young woman who's pulled into a pretty horrible world against her will, and ends up using sort of her intelligence uh, and empowers herself to survive. And so for me, that is the big takeaway. I mean, you know, there's also lots of little sub-themes, but I mean, that's, that's all also what's just important to me about movie making. I think a movie that doesn't have any kind of reflection of the world we live in isn't really worth making. I think that's what makes it special. I think that's what galvanizes the crew. I think that's what pulls in good actors like Jen and the, you know, Jeremy Irons and Charlotte Rampling and people like that. And that's, that's honestly why I did the Hunger Games. I mean, what was really special about that was it was a story that on the surface felt like the, these kind of action adventure films for teenagers, but really they were movies about the consequence of war. Um, and so without those deeper meanings, I think movies are kind of pointless. We've been cool yesterday. Are we going to become friends? Is that what you want? Francis and I had talked about the idea of this movie for so many years, and I was already excited by, you know, I, I, I love the Jason Bourne, I love the Bourne movies, I love Mission Impossible. I wasn't interested in making a spy movie because I feel like, you know, they've already been done. And when I heard about the idea of Red Sparrow, that it was written by an ex-CIA officer who had spent 30 years specifically with Russia-US relations, and that it was completely unique perspective on the brutality of this lifestyle and the effect that it has on on, on a person, uh, on a human. Um, I was already really interested when I read the script. You know, certainly there were things that frightened me, but I look for that in every movie. I, I never want to do a movie that I feel like isn't going to strengthen and strengthen me in any way. I always want to do something that, that scares me a little bit. I have to say, I don't know if I would do this if it weren't with Francis, because not only do I trust him personally, I trust him professionally to use all of this dark, dark subject matter in a very artistic and beautiful way. You belong to them. They'll never let you go. I'll find a way.